Hello YouTube, I have another screwdriver done. This really sticks out because the wood was bad. I had to sand it down and grind it down so it was even. Nothing on here is really straight. It has a little brass pin. You see it kind of brass colored? Holding that on there. So I got to go back in the exact spot. I did my sandpaper over there, you know, where you do it. And this is just with a uh, sanding drum. It's good enough. It's, I mean, it's just a screwdriver. It's not a, a show one. It, it Sometimes when they were new, they were like that. You know, they come out of the fact they just had them on a belt sander and you can see the lines. So I kind of wanted to make it kind of look, you know, just about the way they'd make it. Had some trouble with the stain. That red stain was on there. Where I got the red stain off the most, that's where it's the lightest. But where it was, it was the darkest, like down here. But I used black cherry stain. It took three times, and there's two about two coats of clear on here, not shellac. It's just a clear spray paint. So there you go. Uh... I did take a picture. I had a punch in the vise and I had this going over it to hammer it round again. You know, kind of use the punch as an anvil to tap on with my little bitty hammer. And that's just whatever sandpaper and scotch pad. It's kind of hard to get this one straight. It had, it goes in the screwdriver crooked. See that? And I didn't want to crack the wood anymore or anything. So, I got about as straight as I could. You know, the average person's not going to notice using it if you was using it. You're not going to really notice that. But you can see it. But I like to show that stuff. You're not going to get these things perfect. But there you go. I'll take some pictures. At the end, I got some pictures of what it looked like when I was sanding on it, graining on it, and everything. So thanks for watching. And another big shout out there to 357 Baghdad for sending me these whoops there we go we had enough we're out of here